What's up everybody, a spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on the Space Engineers Inspiration series. We're starting things off today with the Hatrius Hatrius Patrius. I'm not sure how you're supposed to say it, but that kind of goes without saying at this point. Class Battleship. Now, as the name implies, it's a battleship. Um, when you look at the description, it has quite a laundry list of weaponry, in my opinion, anyway. Um, enough that I would not want to mess with it. <laughs> it's, um, it's pretty intense. I mean, you can even just look at it. It's got all these missile turrets everywhere. Um, there's a couple of interior turrets there, but there's Gatling turrets back here. Like, there's just, like, turrets was just the name of the game on, on this ship. It's just, it's got a lot of them. Um, I don't know if this... It is heavy armor. Okay, so it's got like a heavy armor shell. I'm kind of guessing... Yeah. Alright. So it... I don't know if it's gonna hold up through the entire build, but it kind of looks like the grayish color build... or the grayish color armor is the light, and then the darker charcoal is more of the heavy. Um, which is pretty cool, I think. I really like that. Um, I like kind of using heavy armor sparingly as more like armor plating than just building a whole ship out of heavy armor. One, it's heavier, obviously. So um, this ship can uh, use multiple environments, though it's said in the description that a low gravity or no gravity, I'm assuming, is preferred. Um, but it can do planetary uh, flight in transitions and things like that. Actually, that kind of looks like there's a dent here. I doubt that was meant to be there. So we're just gonna help him out. We're just gonna help him out and fix it real quick. <laughs> it, it won't have changed the blueprint, um, but yeah, all, all well and good now. Everything's fine. Um, <laughs> so, actually, this is kind of cool too. I'm not. 100% sure, but it kind of looks like these are kind of like makeshift landing gears. Um, but then these are interior turrets, so I'm not sure if that would line up or if you'd be landing on the turrets or not. I'm not sure what that is. Um, no, it looks too high. I'm not sure what that's for, other than just decoration. It looks cool. It looks kind of like a landing gear. Anyway, um, I really like this also on the hangar. Uh, most of the time we see a lot of hangars that just are like, it stops right here, like this is your hangar kind of thing. I like that they added this angled taper to it and then set the hangar squared inside off the main hull frame. I really like that. Um, for a couple of reasons. One, it gives us this cool taper where the back end is a bit wider than the front nose part, which gives the outer hull a cooler look to it, in my opinion. Um, but also, it's a little bit of breathing room, right? Like, if you had a small little shuttle or something and you had an emergency landing, you don't have to, like, clear the door right away. You can kind of... Um, stand out here or whatever. So I kind of like that. It's just something a little different that you don't see very often. Um, I really like this interior right here, this archway design, this kind of overall, pretty much this, this shot right here. I really like the way that it's shaped. Um, that's pretty cool. I like it. All right, so let's check out the back here. And I'm, I'm getting used to this. I was just about to say it. I was like, what are these blocks? They're small hydrogen tanks, which got added recently, and I totally forgot about them. So the last couple episodes when I was like, what block is this? That's what they are. Um, I have to do some checking, or maybe you guys can let me know. I do like the size of them compared to, like, the main huge hydrogen tanks, but I do wonder if you would need a lot more of them. Like, I'd be curious to see if you clump them all together, would they really end up being, um, 
that much more efficient kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like, if you put them all, if you put a stack of the small ones to occupy the same space that a large one took up, would they hold as much as a large? Or is it just so that you can kind of spread them out into smaller areas is kind of what I'm wondering. So I'm guessing we've got the door controls here. It says, I mean, HS maybe, hangar, starboard hangar port, okay. Um, yeah, I like this. I love the hangar design, um, that like archway kind of uh, semi-squared, semi-angled kind of thing. I'm sure there's an architectural term for that, but I don't know what it is. Um, all right, we've got maintenance, you have emergency engines, and then a room back here. What is this back here? since this is kind of on its own. Uh, we've got reactors, gravity generator, uh, jump drive, and there's a big heart hydrogen tank, so they did actually use the big ones in some spots. Okay. It did mention it has like an auto repair system for certain things. I don't think it's for everything, but probably your main key points. Um... So, we can't really get back in there. So, ooh, what is, what is this? What is this? There's no button controls here, but I'm guessing that's for some kind of, like, door controller kind of thing. Maybe. So what is the emergency engine? Oh, this looks cool. <gasps> oh, this is cool. This is really cool. Oh, and they even have an access ladder. Nice. I thought it was just an observation area. Okay, so I really like this. When you come through here... Oh, I love this. Is this glass? Yes! This is so cool. I gotta do this in one of my builds somewhere. No idea where. But I gotta pull this off because they did a glass thing here so that all of this is connected. I'm gonna turn my headlamps on just to make sure that everybody can see it. So it's like, you could actually do this um, this one wouldn't be an airtight block, so you'd have a hard time making, like, a bridge or something that's exposed out of it. But if you replaced it with maybe a glass slope, you could probably do it. Um, but this is, like, one of those under, un like, ventral bridges or something like that, where you've got this kind of suspended hanging thing. But it's got glass all the way around it. And then you got your control panel. Now, obviously, if you were doing a bridge or something, you couldn't have this here. But, the mood lighting and everything, this just looks really cool. I really like this. It's actually not all that crazy, but it's really cool looking. I really like this area of the ship. I also like this. They took two hydrogen engines and put them back to back. It kind of looks like a big engine now. Um, I'm pretty sure the devs probably built the block that way on purpose. Um, but if they didn't, that's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this emergency hangar, or emergency engine room area. I think it's really cool looking. Okay. Glad I checked that out. Okay, so we checked that, we checked the hangar control. I guess next is the maintenance. I'm gonna turn my, my lamps on in here because it's a little bit on the dimmer side as I stare right at a light. Trust me. It's dim. Okay, I'm not making this up. Um, this is a weird area. I'm not quite sure what to make of this. So, th Oh, they said this was maintenance, right? So you're able to access the conveyor's repair stuff. Uh, looks like... Hydrogen? Wait, that's a hydrogen tank? No. Wow, okay, it is. Weird. That did not look like a hydrogen tank. Um, okay, so you can't really get to anything else from here. That looks like a separate corridor. Probably over here. Wait, the bridge is that way? I thought the bridge was on the front. I'm confused now. Alright, so... This is kind of like an observation area, it looked like. Okay, that was freaky. I saw that interior turret, and for a brief second, I thought it was another astronaut, and I felt like I was 
like in a horror game or something and there was a ghost on board or something. Now this said something about magazine, I think. So I'm wondering, is this where you would reload something? Is this uh, maybe cargo containers that access your weapons? Perhaps? I'm not really sure what that stick was. Kind of glitched there for a second. Um, alright, so we've got a- wow, this thing has a lot of tanks. This has to be a fuel hog. Uh, broadside launcher support front decks hospital. Okay. Engine rooms aft deck and bridge. So the bridge is in the back. That's interesting. Port side airlock that I totally missed, but in my defense, the hangar door was bigger. Wait, what's... Oh, they're on a timed interval. I thought for a minute we were getting that old, uh light glitch again. So lighting in the ship is really cool. Like, this is awesome. This looks really cool. However they've got their lights set up is really well done. I like it. What are you? Rocket launcher. They must be using the clean texture here. Because something about these blocks look different. That's really cool. Oh, this is interesting. It... Oh, this is actually airtight because there's glass there. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> For a minute, I was like, wait a second. Is this exposed? And then I was looking at it going, no? That's pretty nuts. All right. Uh, welder rep reparation bay? Okay. So I'm guessing this is where you would load up the welders and they can repair the various different blocks. Once again, the lighting in this is really cool. I like the, uh, the, the dark red here. It's almost like an emergency access area. Okay, uh, let's see. Man, there are a lot of... there's a lot of tunnels and corridors in this place. I'm getting turned around, not gonna lie. A lot of these seem to be just, like, access for repairs and whatnot. Um, alright, well, we found the hospital. Yay. So we have cryo chamber. Again! Lighting. Lighting looks so cool. I gotta, I gotta, um, dig into some of their light settings and see how they set up the, the lights in certain places. Ooh! And we're somewhere else. Good grief! This ship is a lot bigger on the inside than it looks like it should be on the outside. <laughs> like, I'm getting... Every time I think I've explored an area, I'm finding new doors. Go back here. Okay, okay, now I know where we're at. Alright, so we basically must have gone up and over. So this is where I thought the bridge was going to be, actually. Um, Alright. So, was there a way... Wait, how did I get turned around from here? Oh, I went this way. Okay. So, grav cannon. Ooh. Spoiler alert, it has a gravity cannon. Um, so yeah, we've got our warhead basically there, which is cool. And you got manual controls here, it looks like. Blast door, warheads, fire. Um, but I'm sure that there's uh, buttons for that on the bridge, so we'll try it from there. We've got an upper area here. Where does this go? Man, you are definitely not going to suffocate in this ship. There's airlocks everywhere. I'm guessing this is kind of a, uh, yeah, it looks like a fire control for weapons and stuff. Yeah, there are, there are double doors everywhere on this ship. That doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so now, I don't know for sure, but I think we've explored everything on this side. So, I'm going to try and head back more towards the rear. Did we 
check that airlock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so bridge, I think, is kind of the last thing on the list, I think. Damage control. See what I mean? There's a whole other... Yeah, it's got a projector and stuff. That's pretty cool. Ooh, I, I like this. This is almost like that, like, naval... Uh, night mode kind of thing on destroyers and whatnot. Okay, so we have atmospheric thrusters, hydrogen, hydro planets, so there's probably two sets of hydrogen. Ion, emergency engines, battery, power, um, port side and starboard hangar doors, vents. We don't really need to mess with any of that. We've got port side, port broadside, starboard broadside. Launchers, an empty there. I'm not sure what that is. Camera, piston. I didn't see anything where there should have been a piston. Oh no, we don't have uh, the weapon controls for the gravity cannon. That's okay. We can probably make it work. Okay. So, as you'd expect from a battleship with a heavy armor shell on the top, um, it moves, it accelerates not bad, but it is pretty sluggish in terms of, well, no, actually it's not. Once it gets going, it's actually not that bad for acceleration. Um, wow, turning is a lot more responsive than I expected. Actually, this is a fairly maneuverable ship for a battleship. I mean, this thing's a piece of work. It moves really well. It's got a lot of space inside. Like, this is a really nicely designed ship. I would not want to mess with it. Um, Alright, so broadside. Good lord. That's, that's a broadside and a half. Was that seven? Jeez. Oh, I'm getting a weird graphical glitch there. That was weird. Wow. Oh, and then we've got ones in the front, too. Uh, looks like six. Jeez. This thing's, <laughs> this thing's just a weapon. It's a flying weapon. Um, Alright, just for the heck of it, we're gonna grab the grav cannon view. Um, let's just actually fire and we'll just do a trigger now and um what was it blast doors let's do that okay so i'm guessing all right so that opens the grab doors i mean the blast doors um and then you'd have your gravity cannon. Which I don't know how long it actually... Oh, it's not done yet. Okay. Is it, is it launching them that fast? Am I just not seeing them? Oh, wow, it is. Okay. Oh, there it goes. You can kind of barely see it. Alright. So that's going to do it for this one. I really like this ship. This thing is really cool. Um, so let's move on to the next one now. Okay, so... I... I said a few episodes ago that I thought um, somebody should make the uh, Castle of Doom or whatever it's called um, from Doom Eternal because I thought it was a cool looking ship, but apparently someone else had a better idea, or a different idea rather. I still want to see that Castle of Doom or uh, Doom Castle or whatever it's called. That thing looked awesome. Anyway, this is the BFG 10,000 from Doom Eternal. Now. I actually thought at first that they had just taken the actual, like, BFG gun and made it into a ship. And then I realized after reading the description, no, no, this is the actual BFG 10,000, the big, like, turret version. Uh, and it looks really freaking cool. <laughs> and, um, there is a couple of mods, but not really a lot. There's one that uh, messes with the gyroscopes and I think one for the actual um, laser cannon. Now a couple of things to note. One, there's not a whole lot of an interior for this as it's basically a cannon. Um, two, is that obviously the original 10,000, for those of you that have played the game, were 
uh, was a turret, like a big planetary turret. And uh, in the description, it talks about not really finding a way to make that doable. So this is actually a ship, um, not like a station or something that you could mount and turn into a, a turret kind of thing. It looks crazy, though. And the other thing I have to give it is the accuracy that up close, I mean, you start seeing some of the space engineeriness of it. Uh, but from far away, it actually looks legit. Like, like it's it's a pretty good... That's a pretty good replica, I'm not gonna lie. Um, now, crazy thing would be the kind of damage this would actually do in-game to another ship or something. Um, I'm tempted to even paste in another ship and see what happens when we shoot it. But let's actually try and... Look around the interior, what little of it there is first. Woo! Woo hoo hoo! I'll make somebody dizzy. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Speaking of dizzy, what the heck just happened? I lost my mag boots. Stupid mag boots. Oh, we hit a gravity area. Okay, that's what it is. So we're now in gravity. Alright, well, screw it. I'm just gonna fall then. Okay, so we have two access points there, and we have, like I said, it wasn't, it's not really much of an interior, but it wasn't really designed for it, it was mainly just, uh, you know, go boom kind of thing. So, what do we have? We have camera view, fire timer block, laser generator on, thrusters, laser charge, what is that, oh, I see, okay. So this, you could actually keep an eye on, I'm assuming, kind of like reload. Um, let's see how it actually moves. Okay, so the acceleration isn't actually terrible for as big of a ship as this is. It's actually not bad. Um, especially from what I can tell being all ion. And I know that it's using modded gyroscopes to increase the speed, and it's still kind of sluggish, so I can understand... Um, why it would be difficult to turn this into a turret. Um, plus the sim speed, if you get much bigger than this, is gonna be... It mentioned it even in the description that the uh, sim speeds were kind of crazy. So, let's give it a go. I don't know which is a better angle. I think we're gonna do it from this way... No, you know what? I'm gonna do it from this angle, I think, first. So we're firing, I think. Maybe? Oh, it's charging. It looks like it's charging. I don't know what this block is, so I'm not sure... Hmm. I'm not sure when it's charged. Do I have some kind of indicator? Or something? I think the glow is getting bigger. Maybe. Man, I can't I can't tell if it's doing what it's supposed to or not. <laughs> I mean, I'm you know me, I'm gonna push more buttons. Let's try it again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that works. That works. Okay, so with that said, um, I think that's going to do it for this one. As I said, there's not really much of an interior, and we've already fired it and stuff, and it looks really cool. It's very, very scary, and it lives up to its name. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to do it for this one. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, but last and certainly not least, we have the HCS Celestis. I think that's how you say that, but I feel like everyone should have given up on me pronouncing things correctly a long time ago. Um, so, this is actually a really cool ship. It is a world file, however, there are no mods in it, which surprised me by the look of the ship, that this was all achieved in vanilla, which is crazy. Um, 
As you might notice though, it's pretty hefty on the sim speed. So bear that in mind. Now this is a world, it's not a blueprint, so you are getting, you know, the asteroid and, and world data and stuff in mixed in as well. But at the same time, it's still a pretty hefty ship, so it's probably not going to be that much better to um to use it as a blueprint outside of this world either other than just for your own but um it's got a really cool exterior design i particularly really like the back area here um with these like talon claw almost like looking things it's really pretty cool um lots and lots of hangar bays as you can tell um yeah, I'm probably not going to be as thorough with this one because of the sim speed. Um, it does seem to be clearing up a little bit, though, so that's good. Um, I really like... <laughs> it sounds weird, but it's like, I really like what you've done with the place kind of thing. It's it's one of those where um, they made use of a lot of cool things, like even the little lights up on the... Uh, um, above the doorway and the strobing ones on the doorway and stuff like that. Um, it's really cool. It's It's got a nice touch to it. Um, let's see if we can get this door open. This reminds me of a Star Wars panel. This is the one we need. Um, and again, uh, I may not look through every single area just because of the sim speed, but when I'm flying around it's not too bad, so we, we may explore more. Um, I don't know why you need that many vents other than maybe for filling it up faster so that you're not waiting for the room to pressurize as long. Uh, this is kind of interesting. We're in the nose of the ship now. But we've got this weird area here that's actually really cool looking. Um, I really am shocked that this is all vanilla. They've, they've used different textures. They've used different block types. They even made use of the lab uh, decoration blocks and things. Now some of the images are, I don't know if that's all stock or if they're customed or not, but um, still, to have all the blocks be vanilla is kind of crazy. I mean, it is DLC in some regard, but you get the drift. Um, I'm guessing this is kind of a reactor... Maybe the gravity drive, because uh, this ship does use a gravity drive, so um, if you can get the sim speed to cooperate, the description says it can go to the max speed in like three seconds or something, which considering the size of the ship is pretty intense, but, you know, gravity drive, so um, they're always a little bit stronger than thrusters anyway, at least in my experience. Uh, there's H2 engines that way. Again, I'm going to kind of hit the core parts of this ship. Um, I may not go off onto every little every little area. Um, but man alive, this is a ton of hangar space. Like, this is something that you'd want on, like, a server as a faction flagship or something. It's pretty nuts. Now, this says airlock access, but... I'm sure to no one's surprise, I didn't actually see an airlock anywhere. Um, other than, I mean, that let us bypass the gate, so maybe that's all it's for. Uh, we actually have a huge gate over here, or hangar door, whatever. Um, let's see, what else we got? We've got elevators in this ship. I mean, this ship is crazy. It really is. Uh, especially on kind of a bigger on the inside than it looks on the outside um, type of aspect. I mean, we've got at least three decks already in the... Um, by, by looking at the elevators. And the elevators are actually pretty cool looking that they don't... Um, they don't really seem like elevators. You know, that there's a lot of builds that have elevators that are kind of obvious. These really aren't which is always a, a plus. It looks like we've got little welding ships, which is pretty cool. A ventral access hangar door. Um, I'm not sure what this is for. Maybe maintenance? Let's go with maintenance. Maybe it's a place to park one of the little 
drones to repair them or something. I'm guessing this is going to be a stairway access to bypass the elevator, or to come from this direction. I guess that would work too. Man, there's so many places in here. Um, I, I, again, I know I've said it once or twice already, but if I seem like I'm floating around or not really moving very quickly, that's just the speed of things at the moment. It's kind of definitely telling on me. Uh, we've got a cool little, like, lobby area type thing here. So that's kind of neat. I'm wondering if that's kind of for access you know, you bring your shuttle down or something, and so then you have a little food area. Uh, we've got a big, it looks like a landing door here, so I don't know if this can land on a planet or not, but it looks like a ramp for, like, rover-type vehicles and things. I'm not sure what that's for either, other than decoration. They've got a bunch of broken pistons at the top. I'm gonna go with decoration on that one. Because I can't see that having much use. Um, we got a cool armory area. And we've got kind of a lobby. What do the crew quarters look like? Oh, this is cool! See, this is what I mean. Like, this is kind of surprising that it's done in vanilla because it actually looks really good. Like, there's a lot going on here. A uh, wall-to-wall locker space, it looks like. If this is the crew quarter, I guess there's three beds there, but I'm kind of wondering... if that's some kind of commons area or something, because that doesn't seem like it would house as many people as it looked like you had lockers and stuff. But, I mean, that's kind of how they're all setting up, so I guess that's the crew quarter setup. But yeah, I mean, just all the little poster things, the catwalks, the planters, the different colors on the planters and the support beams of the room. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. Man, they went all out on this ship. This is like some kind of freaking space station. Like this, this looks like a train station area or something. This is crazy. That not so roomy. <laughs> Uh, we've got stairs and storage. What's storage look like? Yeah, I, I really gotta hand it to them on the design and color scheme and everything. It, it works really well for this ship, especially being a hauler type ship. Um, you know, you kind of expect that more industrial, not necessarily grungy, but kind of grungy. <laughs> um... This looks like... I'm gonna say a maintenance area, because there's not really a lot of access points and stuff through here, or catwalks or anything. It's all just conveyor tubes and storage. So I'm gonna say that that's more of a maintenance tunnel type of thing. Which, that's one of those in a ship like this, I guess that would probably be pretty important, because if you took damage or something... If you're primarily using it as a hauler, you'd want to make sure all your conveyors and stuff worked correctly so that you could access all of your storage stuff. Oh, there's not a door on both sides. Okay. <laughs> Most of the time if there's a door on one side, there's a door on the other side. Not true in this case. I wonder why. Is there something on the other side? Okay. Not sure what that was. I know my game's having trouble keeping up with this one. I don't know what kind of rig they had when they built it, but man, it must be beefy. Floor 2, observatory, observatory, I was gonna say observation. Observatory, deck, officer's quarters, canteen, upper crew quarters. Wait, weren't we already at the crew quarters? Commander's quarters? Ooh, they get a roomy. Sweet setup. Alright, well that's cool. Ooh, the captain's quarters. Is it any different? Nope. Okay. 
Okay. I think these are all the same. Yeah, they look about the same. So what's the observatory deck? I've always liked observatory rooms. <sighs> Open! Ooh. This is cool looking. Alright. Yeah, I really like what they did with the color scheme and texturing and theme and stuff like that. It, it works really well. Um, I think, in interest of time and other things, I think I'm going to head to the bridge. Because we're getting a pretty good idea of how all of this looks. Um, wow. Wow, this has got to be a huge crew. Look at all these cryo chambers. Holy crap. They are planning on running with a lot of people. Ooh, what's the infirmary look like? Infirmaries are always fun to look at. The indoors, man. We don't get along. Wow. Oh, that's cool. They whited out the, the glass. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. So this is like the contagion room type thing where you quarantine everybody. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that done before where they actually like try to do almost a frosted glass look. That's pretty awesome. And then we've just got some beds in here. Very nice. Okay. Let me throw. Let me throw. There you go. Alright. Engineering deck. Okay, we'll poke our nose in here. Whoa. Oh, that's interior walls. I was like, that's a lot of lights. That is a lot of jump drives. Good grief. How do you power that? I'll tell you what, man. This is a really cool ship, but uh, even if it's tagged as survival friendly, just because of the size, power, all that kind of stuff. I'm not sure how survival friendly it actually is. Because, I mean, this is kind of in a world that I don't even think there's even any planets or anything around us at the moment. So it's kind of like, what are you going to do? Alright, we have an upper deck here. Is this a lab of some kind? Me thinks? goes this way. I'm trying to make my way to the bridge. Oh, cool. There is a science lab. Alright. This is a really neat stairway, too. The way that they have it laid out and everything. Um, I do apologize again if I'm making anybody, like, dizzy or anything like that with flying sideways and all that kind of stuff. Um, again, the flying thing is just making it easier to combat the sim speed. Um, so... Wait, didn't this say bridge? Oh, main briefing room. Uh, okay. Alright, so where's the bridge? Bridge, bridge, bridge. Where'd you, where you be? It's gotta be... I really thought it would have been towards the top, but I'm not seeing any signs for it. How do I get to the bridge? That's the one thing I don't like about these rails is I can't just fly over them. They always get me stuck on stuff. Airlocks. What's this one say? Main front access. That's probably what we need. Um, is it this way? Is this the front access? Yeah, we haven't seen this yet, so... I love all these, like, common areas, though, where there's just, like, couches and things. It's, like, just lobbies and stuff. Um, oh, it's even got a safety generator. Wow! I haven't even tried these in, in actual survival, but I've heard that they're crazy power hogs. It's disabled at the moment, but I've heard they eat a lot of power if you're trying to run them um, yourself, because I know they're primarily designed for, like, um, making uh, you know, like building maps or or setting faction bases or something like that. Um, but if you're actually trying to use them as a player, I've heard they eat up a lot of power. So that's even more nuts. This ship is crazy. 
it's just crazy. Airlock main hangar. No, I want the bridge. Where's the bridge at? <laughs> okay, I see a sign for CIC. Um, meeting room, CIC, secondary canteen. Ah, it says bridges this way. Come on now. I know I'm not the best with doors and directions, but come on. Or I could have just turned around. Because when you come through here, it's right there with a big old sign. I just missed it. As I so often tend to do. Oh! Ooh! Do we have an elevator? We do. I'm not going to take it because of the, um, the sim speeds that I'm having right now. It's probably faster for me to just fly up here. But that's really cool that you have an elevator to the bridge. That's really neat. Okay, now this honestly reminds me of what a lot of people have done with the Colt pack, the, the cockpit pack, uh, but this is not, which is crazy to me that this is actually all vanilla blocks. That's just nuts. Okay, so if I can get around this, got a lot of screens, love the colors, everything looks really cool. I just wish it ran better, honestly. Um, I don't know if that's so much the planet or just the ship. I'm kind of thinking it's the ship. Which is surprising, because we looked at a couple of bigger ships and they were fine, so it may just be the blocks and stuff going on. Um, so, it has thrusters, it, look like, it looks like, but where is the gravity drives? I'm tempted to leave them alone because... Um, Oh, wait, what did that say? Grabs, grabs. Um, I'm tempted to leave them alone just because sometimes grab drives are harder to pilot because you have to do them a little bit differently, but we're going to try it. So if we turn that on... Okay, so it's kind of just forward and reverse. The rest of the ship is using different... Yeah, it accelerates really quick with that. Um, that's... A ship this size accelerates really fast with that um, gravity drive engage. That's pretty nuts. Um, it turns like a pig, though, so keep that in mind. Like, you can barely see the ship turning. Um, or, I could turn the gyroscopes on. That might help. Uh, <laughs> I didn't realize they were off. Oh, man. Unless that's something else, that might be an override. Because the nose is going down. I think that's an override for something, because these are set for 30 RPMs. So that might actually just be an override, and it may turn like a pig. I'm not really sure. It's an interesting ship to fly, but it's a really, one, a really cool one to explore. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap things up for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.